If what if, the company that combines virtual reality and artificial intelligence, in education, consulting, courses and development. Our motto, dream it, imagine it, create it. The possibilities are endless. Now, if what if, is proud to present our new educational video series. The nine pillars of the metaverse. The following three to four minutes is part of the introduction to all the videos in this series. If you have already seen another part in the nine pillars of the metaverse series, you can jump to the next chapter marked on the video. If you have not yet seen the introduction, we strongly advise watching it at least once. These nine pillars are limitless, perpetual, immersion, social identity, anonymity, privacy, economics, digital currencies, and no central authority. Without a clear understanding of what each pillar refers to and accomplishes, to do business or to interact with the metaverse can become incredibly confusing and a daunting process. We have gotten used to dealing with a multitude of social networks and messaging apps along with their likes, shares and subscribes. Now, new terms have emerged, and some old terms have taken on new meaning. Along with the catch-all phrase, metaverse, we also hear the terms, virtual reality, augmented reality, extended reality, virtual worlds, and mixed reality. Then we add artificial intelligence into the mix, and the whole process seems overwhelming. As if this were not enough, once we got used to paying online in a secure manner and adopting systems like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all the others, we now suddenly encounter cryptocurrencies, with over 100 different coins to choose from and a whole new system of securing our payments. And now we are approaching the new frontier of exchange known as non-fungible tokens or NFT for short. NFTs are digital assets that represent ownership of media, often digital illustrations, profile pictures, or music. Is it any wonder then, that many people do not even know where to begin? Or that all the new terminology is so confusing? So, let us begin with part one of our series. Part one will cover the meaning of the term metaverse, and a short description of all the nine pillars. Then we will discuss the first two pillars, which are limitless and perpetual, and what they actually mean in our context. What is the meaning of the term metaverse? And what exactly does the metaverse refer to? First we need to get the linguistics of the word meta explained. This will sound complicated, but it does lay the groundwork for understanding exactly what we are talking about. So just have a bit of patience and follow along. All you need to understand in the end is the overall concepts. Meta is a prefix, it is added to the beginning of a word. It is a prefix that appears in loanwords from Greek, with the meanings after, along with, beyond, among, behind, and productive in English on the Greek model. Or, a prefix is added to the name of a subject and designates another subject that analyzes the original one but at a more abstract, higher level. That is a mouthful to say and understand. But we promise you, in a moment you will get it. In modern literature, meta is a prefix added to the name of something that consciously references or comments upon its own subject or features. Meta is when something refers back to or is about itself, like a book about books or a painting about paintings. So, the word metaverse means, meta equals beyond, and verse is the last syllable of universe. Therefore, metaverse will imply, beyond the universe, or a greater universe. And it also references the universe itself, meaning that the universe is meta, or in modern terms, the metaverse is the grander or more extensive universe. Like our universe, the metaverse is not one entity, nor a single place, nor owned by a single corporation. Metaverse is a catch-all phrase that refers to many different virtual worlds and role-playing games, RPGs, or a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, MMORPG, each with its own theme and economics. Until a year ago, when the idea of a metaverse turned from imagined to real, each game ran with its own systems, its own economics, and its own currencies. 
They did not, and most still do not, allow for a seamless, transferable environment. However, all these virtual worlds still have many things in common. The idea behind the metaverse is to allow one to use their unique avatar while creating a unified social identity in all native metaverse systems. Beyond the technical problems, the real challenge here is to guarantee anonymity and privacy to the real individual behind the avatar. This goal is still a few years into the future, and some very successful RPGs are closed systems, like Second Life, owned by Linden Lab, and they will probably remain closed to other systems for the foreseeable future. Second Life is not yet a 3D immersive experience and remains ignored by metaverse fanatics. It maintains an entirely closed environment, and many of its innovations have been adopted by immersive metaverse systems. However, Second Life is undoubtedly one of the most sophisticated virtual worlds that exist. We cannot forget the key word in all that we are discussing, which is the word, virtual. And to create a virtual experience that will mimic the real, we must have extensions to our virtual worlds to allow for an immersive experience. Augmented reality, extended reality, and mixed reality are all terms that refer to different objects and technology that enhance virtual reality, making it more natural to our senses. Each of the nine pillars of the metaverse is a defining factor for the metaverse. And they are all intertwined. So a system within the metaverse should ideally contain the following properties. It must be limitless and perpetual. These will be discussed in this part of the series. It should be able to provide some degree of immersion, offering an immersive experience for the end user. Immersion is a massive topic and will be covered in a dedicated video within this series. It must offer the ability to create a social identity different from your real-life identity. The metaverse hopes to achieve an interchangeable social identity for all compatible systems. Anonymous and private are not the same thing nor synonyms. Anonymity and privacy should be guaranteed. The first law of all virtual worlds is that your anonymity is sacred. We will discover in this series how easily the new metaverse can break that rule and then infringe upon your privacy. An economy must exist to allow the creation, sale, and purchase of digital assets. Digital assets mean absolutely anything you can create or sell. It also is enhanced as what you imagine or dream can be realized in a virtual world even if it is impossible to do in the real world. Thus, allowing for limitless creativity. Digital currencies which are accepted by all metaverse areas. Coupled with the law of anonymity, the metaverse has adopted cryptocurrencies as its currency of choice. And finally, no central authority. No one owns the metaverse, though of course, Facebook did coin the term for its new company. However, the metaverse as a concept of many different virtual worlds acting alone and in unison is decentralized and no single organization or corporation runs or has ownership over it. Now we can finally get to the two easiest pillars to understand. These are limitless and perpetual. They are simple concepts but actually lay at the very heart of any virtual world. What do we mean by limitless? Essentially, it means there are no boundaries. No gates. No point where you are forbidden to go further. The term infinite is proper here. Virtual land, virtual clothing, virtual objects. The moment we are in a virtual world, there are no limitations. Whatever is created in a virtual world can be sold to an infinite amount of avatars without having to produce a physical item. Let us just give a simple example of what we mean to avoid confusion. If you order sneakers or high heels from Amazon to be delivered to your home, there is a physical box in a real warehouse with the shoes you ordered in your specific size. If the shoe model is no longer available in your size, or the color you wanted, obviously, you will not be able to purchase it. It must be first physically produced, and as we all know, actually delivered to you. However, in virtual worlds, the item is created only once. It can then be sold to 10 or 1 million customers. There is no warehouse where it is kept. 
The warehouse is the cloud and the sneakers are actually bits and bytes. Now it is thoroughly possible that Nike or Adidas or your favorite sneaker company or Louboutin or Victoria's Secret will produce a virtual item that is limited. They will not sell more than 100 of these specific virtual items. However, that is a limitation they have placed on the item and says nothing about the availability of the virtual object itself. All sold out takes on a different meaning here, as a virtual object, by definition, cannot be sold out, only limited by numbers. It is essentially the same marketing ploy, used by many companies in the real world. In six months, if the creator wishes to sell the same virtual item to another hundred customers, there is no added production costs, no warehousing costs, no shipping costs. The cost of virtual land is calculated according to the perceived value of the real estate, and depending upon which virtual world you are in. There is no limit to land that is virtual. However, the cost of that land can go up or down, based upon its placement. Virtual land sales have been recorded in 2021 at over $2 million and recently in May 2022, a plot of virtual land went for $5 million. It is estimated that over $1 billion will be spent on virtual land just in 2022. It is the same concept as if you bought a townhouse in Manhattan or a house in Beverly Hills, or just a small apartment or home in an ordinary neighborhood. Because there are no limitations and because there are no physical objects the profits for a business can be astronomical even if they are selling their virtual goods at 10% of what the real goods would cost. Limitless also applies to what can be created. Remember, you can have wings and fly in a virtual world, though the wings are not necessary. Every single thing you can dream of or imagine, can be created in a graphics program and turned into an object to be used or sold in a virtual world. No limitations. It really is as simple as it sounds. One note of caution. It has been implied that limitless also means there are no barriers between real and virtual. This is not only false, but it implies we will be able to live in the matrix. Nothing could be further from the truth. It is also dangerous to the psyche. Being caught up in a virtual world and living 24-7 with no limitations can cause irreparable harm to an individual when they must deal with reality. Subscribe to the If What If channel and watch the video Split Personalities which is on this very subject. What do we mean by perpetual? Simply put, the metaverse and all the worlds created within are always there. Virtual worlds are immutable, which means the items do not change unless there is direct intervention. A simple example will provide us with understanding the meaning of perpetual. If I build something in a virtual world as a user or as a merchant, it is always there and always functioning. I do not have to be online and connected to that world for it to be available to other avatars. Avatars can visit, they can purchase items, they can use anything that they own, and nothing will change. Indeed, I can be off on a trek through Europe in my real life for two months, and my virtual world will continue just as I left it. If I am a merchant selling items, I need no staff, and people can continue to purchase those items without any human interference. And when I return, my avatar will look exactly the same, my virtual world area will be exactly the same, and what I own and use in that virtual world will be the same. The only staff I may need are graphic artists to create more virtual items. Remember what we defined in Limitless? There are no physical production, warehousing, or shipping costs. Nothing changes, except if I am a merchant I may be richer from sales of my items. There is no plug to pull out, and no on-off switch. Even if I am in the middle of building a huge mall to sell items, and I leave it for weeks on end, I will come back to the exact same structure that I left. Of course, I can take down my store, my buildings, and anything that I own and sell it to another. However, if the metaverse adopts a marketplace structure, something that already exists with NFTs, and as Second Life already has, a merchant will be able to sell items without any presence in the virtual world. To summarize, in this episode we covered the meaning of the metaverse, a short description of all the nine pillars and what limitless and perpetual refer to. This video series was created by If What If, 
the company that combines VR and AI, in education, consulting, courses and development. Our motto, dream it, imagine it, create it, the possibilities are endless. If What If would like to thank all the metaverse, virtual world, and second life photographers involved in our projects. And to Poco, our resident virtual world and metaverse photographer, who scours the metaverse to find the most incredible images and with her exceptional talent, turns them into works of art. All her work can be found at www.flickr.com slash people slash Poco9. Thanks for use of her images goes to master photographer, Violetta Rain. Thanks for use of their images go to three girls in SL, Fenny, Liz, and Leandra. Thanks for use of her images goes to Yennefer, involved in many RPG, virtual world, and photography projects. Thanks also goes to Inara Pei and Miru, second life photographers, who graciously allow reuse of their Flickr photos. Links to all our photographers are in the description attached to this video. All other photos are taken from pixabay.com or unsplash.com and are free to use for commercial purposes. You can find If What If on all the major social media networks or contact us at info at ifwhatif.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment below.